Hello my lovelies and welcome to a very kooky corner of YouTube and here at Kooky Towers today <laughs> we're going to be looking at pastels, namely soft pastels and oil pastels. Um, there is great differences between the two of them so I thought I'd take you through my selection of what I have of each of those things and just show you how they lay down on paper. So they are, uh, there's a big difference between all of them, just tidying up in the background here. <laughs> tidying up the messy desk. I need my little rag there because it's good for wiping my handies on. Um, so yes, um, I've got a whole selection that I've had throughout the years. And also uh, I've got a new thing that I've not had before that I will show you as well to do with pastels. Uh, first of all, I'm going to look at the oil pastels because that's something I've not got as many of. I've got many different varieties of the soft pastels, but the oil pastels I don't really have a lot of. Um, this one is one of the ones I've got, which is a big set that I got a couple of years ago by Pentel. And it's Pentel oil pastels. Um, in a big box like this you get 50 sticks they were fairly cheap they weren't expensive but if you wanted to try out oil pastels uh, a cheaper set might be the way to go to see if you like them because some people don't like the feel of them some people don't like how they work with their other media so in a mixed media thing the thing you need to bear in mind is that oil pastels never dry they're never fully dry so whereas your other media, so you've got uh, watercolour pens and everything, you've got dry media and, and watercolour dries uh, with oil pastels, they don't. So then you have to think about if you're going to use a fixative, which you can use. Um, I know there are quite a few oil pastel fixatives out there on the market that you can use over the top of them, but they are still going to attract dust. Um, so they do need to be behind glass. Um, I think they're fairly light fast from what I've read about certain ones. I think you just have to look into the certain brand that you get because every brand is different. As I said, this is a Pentel set. So opening this up, bearing in mind I've had these for a few years. So in my set we've got varying colours, nice variety of different colours. So we go from the yellows right down to uh, reds, purples, greens, pink seems to have gone astray from somewhere but yeah <laughs> but you get about a fair amount of colours so you've got a lot to go with to try um, so let's let's start off with like a yellow colour there oh that seems to have got some green attached to it let's get rid of that so you can blend these with your finger you can also blend them with um, like a makeup foam or something. Let me try one that's not got green all over it. I don't know why that. So it's quite creamy. A nice creamy set. You can smudge them into each other. The idea is to lay them down quite thickly. Uh, but unlike oil paint, as I said, they will not fully dry ever. Uh, oil paint is a slow dryer, but it does dry. Uh, whereas the oil pastel sticks do not. And as I said, you will have to use a fixative for them. So that's a yellow from the set, nice and creamy. Let's see how well they blend in with, say, a red. So let's put a little red at the side of that one. And if you wanted to create an orange, you can either overlay it or you can blend it with your finger or if you don't like touching it, some people don't, uh, then you can actually just use a tool. Makeup sponge is probably good for blending things in. And I do believe there are some like solutions that you can do use to blend. I'm not a great aficionado of oil paints to be fair. You can see because I had this for a long time and not really gotten into using it much because um, of the fact that it never truly dries but maybe I'm, I'm quite enjoying playing with these and I might want to delve into these further so if I want to try and blend that red I don't know let's go with the blue shall we see what we can get here 
nice and creamy, a little bit crumbly this set and you will find the different sets um, are better than others uh, because um, of the amount of binder. They are they're a mix of oil and pigment and also how vi vibrant they are depends on the amount of pigment as opposed to the amount of oil and other things that they put in there. Actually I'm quite enjoying this. <laughs> so you can see they do blend and that makes a green of sorts and you can play around with them and get the better a better uh, mix of colours and just play with them. I think a cheap set is good to try to see if you like them or not. As I say they don't suit everybody and um, but as part of a mixed media thing a cheap set is really good to get just to try it out. You can get some really expensive ones also um, but if you're not sure about them then you need to be trying. You can get smaller sets of these. I think there's a set of 12 you can get which is even cheaper. Um, I will try and leave some links in the description below for different sets that you could have a look at and I'll have a look at um, Jackson's to see what they have as well but I'll have a look below to see about those but that's the Pentel oil pastels a nice cheap entry level that will give you a general idea of whether or not you like oil pastels or not as I say that's a set I've had for a few years so I will look these up and leave some descriptions and some links in the description down below this if you've been watching my channel you will see i had these earlier this year and these are the paul rubens oil pastels specifically the macaron colors which i was really really liking and you can see they're a bigger size so you've got more um bang for your buck basically they weren't overly expensive but i would say they're more of a mid-range if i was going to say anything about them not that I am an absolute uh, aficionado on oil pastels. Um, but let's try a similar technique. So these going down are a lot creamier than the Pentel ones. I can tell you that from the off. They are much creamier. And they feel much, they move a little more on the paper when you're smudging them with your finger. So that's something to note. Bear in mind that those were like bright colours. These are the macarons, which are the pastel variety or more pastel of a colour. And you can get these, I think you can get some, a set of these in a different colourway. This is just a, this, this specific set that I've got. I can't talk, my, my, my teeth are not working for me. Um, so let's go in with this one. Again, really, really creamy not too much of a crumble to them as well which is nice and you'll find that about soft pastels uh, some people compare them to crayons but if if you're comparing them to children's crayons i think you need to have a look at this. there's a lot of difference between them um they are not like crayons at all the, the consistency of them is completely different children's crayons are quite dry um but these are they're quite sticky they feel quite sticky and as I said, bearing in mind that these are the pastel set. Let's see what kind of a green we can get on mixing that pink with that blue. Well, you can get a kind of a green. But they're very smudgeable. You can move them around. Let's try this one as well. You can layer them so you can go on top of them. So you get lots of like chances to add in different detail blend it in if you like so that is my take on oil pastels um, and the ones that i have in my little stash that i built up so say these were the ones that i bought recently haven't had a proper chance to get to go with them but hopefully during the summer i might have some time to have a proper look at those and see how they work in my mixed media work okay so that's oil pastels looking at my little stash i have more of these actually i have more of the soft pastels i did do um um a course on soft pastels a very very long time ago 
I'm just going to try and see if I can bring this whole pile of things across. Um, here we go. I did do a course on these uh, many, many years ago. I went to a pastel class as part of when I was doing my art course and it was like an offshoot. You could go and try it out. And so to that end, I have this set of Reeves soft pastels. Reeves are a lovely beginner uh, kind of set, really cheap. Um, you're not going to get a huge idea of how well these work. So let me just put little, let's got oil pastels up here. Okay, so as opposed to oil pastels, um, soft pastels or stick pastels are made of pigment and some kind of binder and then they're compressed together. And instead of having a smooth creamy uh, lay down, it's more, if you compare it to a chalk like, it's a bit chalk like, but they're not chalks. They are completely different. There's much more pigment in these than there are into chalks. So let's try yellow. Try and dig one out of here. Okay, so you can see from the off, there's quite a few crumbles on there as well. And these are very blendable and very dry. Nothing, nothing like the oil pastels, no creaminess to them at all. And bearing in mind, this is a Reeves set. This is the cheapest set that I have. And I'll show you some other ones that I've got too. Uh, let's go on with the red here. So really quite, quite crumbly on this one. You can see the crumbles are being left behind. I'm going to try and rub them in there. So you can blend them, they're blendable. If I laid down some more yellow on that, you'd probably get more of an orange payoff with that as well. And let's grab this blue. So I'm grabbing my blue in there, rub it in. If you mix it in with the red, you will get a purpley effect. And obviously, depending on the red and the, the blue that you use, you'll get a different purple. This is quite a dark grey purple. As I say, they are not the best set, but they are a set that you can try. If you want to just try and see if you like the feel of them, they're quite, they move around a lot, these ones, can I say, very movable. Try and clear my page a little. These I've had for years and years, you can probably tell. <laughs> They've been everywhere with me. Um, don't tend to really use much now. I did when I was kind of doing the class and I learned how to um, to use them and I literally did the thing where you buy just a cheap set to see if I enjoyed them. So that's the Reeve set, very cheap and nice to try to start off with. Okay, what else have I got here? So these are a set that I got, um, I think they were in a scrawler box. If you don't know what a scrawler box is, it's like a, an art subscription where you get a set of things that come through uh, every month for you to try. And these are Rembrandt soft pastels in a desert desert palette, which is quite nice, isn't it? Got quite a few different ones there. So I can't do a similar thing, but we can go with a brown. These, as you can see, are still crumbly but they've got much more pigment to them they are much more pigmented than the reeves ones but still the very dry very chalk like uh, way to use them um let's see let me try a different one to blend in let's try this one so the pigment on these is much greater than the one in the Reeves set, which I expected anyway. And some people say, if you want to try something, you should try a very small amount of a more expensive brand because you, you don't get the full experience with the cheaper brands. To an extent, I, do, I agree with that, but it still gives you a really good idea if you go with the cheaper ones um, before you uh, invest any money into them in a big way. 
let's get this one down here okay so it's still crumbly but it does make a nice green like mixed with that yellow you can see that you can mix the colors with those and they work really well and for a little small set of Rembrandt ones I don't know how much the singular ones are but I'm sure on Jackson's they must have a list of all the different soft pastels that they have so let me pop those back in there right okay so let's have a little look at these are Faber Castell ones and these ones are Sennelia so I bought these when we were doing um, some mixed media work once and I just wanted to get specific colors so obviously I've got some like purples pinks and blues in the Faber Castells and this one let me try I can't do yellow so let's do maybe an orange to start off with again quite chalky again quite pigmented I think they're more chalky than the the Rembrandt ones I just tried I'm going with this pink Will that blend yes it does blends quite nicely so you can get some nice effects with these you just have to bear in mind you're going to get a bit messy with either oil or soft pastel you have to take the <laughs> take the mess that goes with and just bear in mind that that's going to happen and if you don't like getting your fingers messy maybe it's not the the media for you <laughs> or you could use tools to blend you can actually as I said use a sponge to blend these if you like I'm a messy worker so I like to get my fingers stuck into these <laughs> so that's the Faber Castell ones and now we'll have a look at the Sennelier ones these were also bought in obviously been digging in there with a brush of some kind these are much they seem to be not creamy but a lot more pigmented so the Snellia ones are, are more veering towards a top end of a pastel. Yeah, definitely much more pigment. You could see how that was laying down there. It's making me want to, to do a proper, proper picture with these and play with them a lot more. Yeah, there's way more pigment in the Snellia ones. These are the most pigmented ones out of the ones we've looked at so far. So that's that one. And then I'm going on to my what I would call my top end um, pastels, the ones that you I buy them singly. And these are Jackson's own, they're handmade soft pastels. You can get some much more expensive ones than these as well. Actually, we'll go to the big set because I think there's a variety of colours in there. I think I've been through these on a video. I did a, an unboxing video with um, some art supplies before. And you can pick out your own set of 14 colours. So you can actually pick and choose which ones you want to use, which I thought was great. Haven't actually got a red in here. I've got a yellow, so we can go with that. Beautiful and smooth and just to die for. These don't crumble as much. They do give off bits but they don't crumble as much as their cheaper ones. So, what did I say? I haven't got a red as such, so let's go in with this orange. Stick that back in there. So I think you can see the difference in the um, pigmentation of these. The Sennelier and, and these ones are really nice and you can also buy ones called Unison which are handmade ones and they're a bit more expensive than the Jackson's own variety so try a couple of each see which one suits you the best. I've definitely got a blue here so let's stick that one in there do a blend yeah i'm getting a green coming through there where they mix so that's nice 
lovely so that's that one so let's put some names on these then so these are the soft pastels this one for the oil pastels this was the Paul Rubens can't even remember how to spell it well, I'll just put Paul R we'll know what that is this pen's decided not to work as well this one was the um, trying to remember now which one this one was oh that was a Pentel one wasn't it Pentel this one was a Reeves cheap and cheerful this one was the Mungio and there are other varieties available of those that was the oh my gosh brain's gone dead faber castell wasn't it faber castell that one was a sennelier and this one is the jackson's own brand of handmade soft pastels so i'll put hm soft pastels so there you can see um these are creamy and also picking up the soft pastels well that's what i mean about they will pick up dust if left uncovered and they will never properly dry they're still sticky whereas these are completely dry but they're still smudgeable so with soft pastels you will also need to use a fixative and probably best to put them behind glass if you intend to frame them um and get a mess over there clear up that so i've got a couple of other things to show you um let me uh, see if i can do it on the other side yeah probably can and just flip that up a little so the other things that I've got to show you uh, you can also get on the oil pastel line something that I've got over here and I'm not sure how well this will work so it's been a while since I've used these but they are, these ones are Markle paint sticks I think they might go under another name and if you can look at that you can see that is literally hard it's, it's not dry and they form a little skin over the top so when you don't use them they form this little skin which you need to remove by either rubbing it on a um, piece of cloth or a piece of kitchen roll I'm just trying to scrape it off with my fingers because I'm messy I will wash my hands after these because these are oil paint oil paint in a stick so can see that that's an iridescent copper yeah it's a copper really blendable but it is an oil paint in a stick form so like a pastel but a big one <laughs> so yeah I've got these in a variety of colors I think I went for the metallics I was going through a phase <laughs> and I think Sennelier also do these I think they do oil paint sticks as well Jackson's do have them on their website uh, for you to go and have a look at but yeah these are all metallic -y colors just really like these and they're professional grade ones so if you wanted to try those out again you don't have to blend them with your fingers but I do probably not the best idea but if you do blend them with your fingers please please be sure to wash off your hands very thoroughly before handling anything else so you leave, that leaves a nice sheen it's a nice addition to some mixed media work and again needs to be fixed and again will probably not dry um, very much similar to the oil pastels I've still got some stuck to my finger here now the other thing I wanted to show you when I've cleaned off my hands is something new to me that I've not got before and I wanted to show you the difference between the soft pastels which we've got here and these beauties which are pan pastels now 
I've got three different colours. So I've got pink and yellow and oh, this is more of a fuchsia. This is magenta, sorry, I apologise. This one is diorolide yellow and this one is turquoise because I wanted to pick three colours that I really love and these are three that fit into my palette that I really love. Um, just cleaning off. They, you can also get these tools that go with them with different tips on. So you can get with a square tip. This is a round tip. You can get one um, with a pointed tip. I was just seeing if I could find the package, which again has gone missing. Oh, there it is. So it, it comes with that, the, the hold, and you slot these little things onto it. And then you can then use that to spread around your pan pastel. So they've got uh, round, flat, oval or point. You can buy any of those heads and obviously you have to buy the tool that fits it because the tool is shaped in the same way as the little cover. These are washable so you can clean them and use them over again and if you want to use different colours in between um, when you're doing something you want to clean it off a little bit you just use it on a piece of paper towel just to clean it off to, to stop it from smudging around everywhere. Right so this one beautiful you only have to literally touch the pan and you're getting a nice pigment there and it could you can smooth it out with the tool itself and you can build it up if you want to make it really vibrant and they are very vibrant and you'll probably notice you don't get as much smudge as you do from um, the soft pastels so this is a soft pastel in a pan very much reminiscent of if you get a blusher or an eyeshadow and um, I'd also like you to try out eyeshadows as well eyeshadows are nice to blend as well uh, maybe not as pigmented as these and these are very pigmented I have to say the pan pastels are very pigmented so in between that one I will do a little wipe on my cloth and don't dig your tool into the pan you just literally want to swipe it three times over the top you can see i'm getting a nice brownie color there aren't i they're really quite quite lovely to use these are quite expensive i have to say i think they're about between six and seven pounds for each pan and you can get sets and you can get them on special offers and I do believe at Jackson's they've got a special offer on at the moment with some of these. And let's try this blue to see what kind of thing we can get. So just wipe that off. Grab a bit of the blue. And it mixes into a beautiful purple, if you can see. Nice purpley colour when it's mixed with that magenta. And very vibrant. So this is another option. These are good for putting backgrounds in if you want to do a background of pastel and then work on top of it. These are great for that, absolutely perfect. And you can get it down really quickly. I wanted to see the difference between the pan pastel. This has obviously got some of the colors mixed into it. I'll try again. So that is vibrant, quite smooth, very smudgeable, really easy. Just a little bit of fallout on that one, but not much. Looking at a similar colour in my soft pastels, I was just going to try and see how well that goes down. So you can use your soft pastels in a similar way, but I don't think the pigment comes out as well as if you did that. You see the difference there, and then you can use your tool to smudge it around. These are a lot cheaper than these, <laughs> so if you didn't want to spend out too much, you can buy one of the tools and still get a similar effect with a cheaper one of these soft pastels. So pan pastels, I like them. I wouldn't go and buy loads of them because um, for one thing they're going to cost me an awful lot of money, for another thing I can get a similar effect with some of the soft pastels that I've already got.
and just use them in a different way. The tool is great, I quite like that. That's less messy of fingers, neck, etc. Um, uh, but definitely, definitely, if you want to try them out, they're handy and neat. And if you wanted to as well, what they've got on the bottom, you don't have to have a lid for each one, you can just screw them together. A bit like the paints we were looking at earlier this week. And you can stack them, so they are stackable. So yeah, that's my little um, show and tell for today. Um, so oil pastels, soft pastels, Oil, oil paint sticks, again, another option, and the pan pastels. Lots of things for you to try. I do really recommend these Jackson soft pastels. I love them so much. And um, for the price of them, I think they work super well and they're very pigmented, as a lot of Jackson's own brand things are. Um, but yeah, go ahead, have a play. Buy a few of each, you know, you could get yourself a very small set of oil pastels, try them, see how you like them. You can buy them uh, singularly, you can buy the, uh, the paint sticks singularly, you can just buy one or see how you feel about them. And that's what we do in art, isn't it? We like to play around, try new things and see if we can find something else that will become one of our big favourites. Anyway, have a really lovely rest of your week. A great weekend and I'll see you next week. Remember to like and subscribe and click on that bell and you'll see whenever I upload. Have a great week. Bye.